you take uh, Biker Bob out there, or Billy that's got hair down the ear and tattoos and old gruff, and he doesn't know anything else, and he gets saved. Now, what do you do? Now, you get cleaned up and cover your tattoos and cut your hair and stuff, and then we'll let you come in, but you're never gonna teach Sunday school. They wouldn't be welcomed in a traditional church, you know? But if, when they come here, it's like home to them. He threw a leg across that iron horse and pulled the throttle down. Before I started going to Freedom Breaker Church, I hadn't been to church in probably 20 years. I had went as a child with my mother, but other than that, I wasn't going. I wasn't even thinking about going. What began, God began to lay on our hearts was, you know, man, there's not, a, there's not really a place for them to go. I first came to Freedom Biker Church just to kind of find out what it really meant. I knew what it was like to be a biker, but it had been a long time since I've known what it's like to be in a church. To, to hear the two words together just didn't seem right, so I had to come to, come to find out. Man, we're at Freedom Biker Church, and uh, it's just a new work God started. July 13th will be our two-year anniversary, open house, and uh, just out of a passion and a burden to reach bikers, unchurched bikers. You'd asked us two years ago, we would, would we be doing this? I would have said, huh, are you crazy? Because Freedom Biker Church has really changed our lives. It, it has taught us, it's taught us how to live. If any function I did, it, beer was involved in it, and now I've been without it, and I don't even miss it. Today's my birthday, it's gonna be my first sober one in over 30 some years. At the cross, at the cross. I think the success of it is not that this is the way you do every church plant. This is the way you do an affinity-based church plant when you're really trying to reach your target, is you really gotta know your target. Your leadership team has to be out of that target group. This, I'd do it all over again. In the joy I have in my heart, I wouldn't take all the money in the world for this feeling I have. For this church, for this family I have here, 